going on YouTube? In today's video, the topic of discussion is what is the best first pair of New Balances for somebody that's trying to get into collecting or just want a pair of New Balance? I have a lot of people come up to me throughout my days and they see me wear New Balance and they know that I have this channel and they ask me like, oh, like New Balance are kind of cool. Like what New Balance should I start off with? Like what's the best New Balance to kind of test the waters? Now, as much as I would love to tell people to go buy a pair of 990s or a pair of Action Bronson 990 V6s or like some crazy collab. Those, those are, shoes are expensive. I would never expect anybody to just say, oh yeah, I want a pair of New Balance and then go buy a $200 pair of 990s. In my opinion, the best starter New Balance is the 574. I think the 574 is the best starter New Balance, not only because it was my first pair of New Balances, but because it's just, it's a great everyday driver. Now, when I'm looking for a shoe that I can wear every single day, I'm looking for good colors, such as like this gray colorway, or you can get the sea salt colorway, which I see a lot. Uh, I love comfort. I think comfort is, is extremely big, and of course, New Balance has that to offer, especially in the 574. The good thing about the 574 is it's very versatile. It's a, Like I said, it's, you can wear it every single day. When I first got my pair of 574s, I wore them for a week straight, and I was like, okay, this is the greatest shoe ever. I need more. And then I bought a 990. So I bought the 574 to realize that New Balance is my favorite shoe brand. And then I went ahead and got the 990. My friend Abby, she was saying that she wanted a pair of New Balances. And she asked if I knew about the 574. I said, yeah, that was my first pair. Like, I love the 574. There's nothing bad about the 574. She's like, oh, do you have any videos on that? I'm like, no. So that's why I'm making this video. I'm making this to show people that you don't need to spend $200 to get a pair of New Balance. You, you can get yourself a nice 574 that's gonna do wonders for you. Another reason why I think the 574 is a good starter New Balance is because it's like under $100. If you, you can get a good quality shoe that you're gonna be able to wear day in and day out and never have your feet hurting or you're never gonna have like, oh man, like these are not comfortable, like a pair of Nike Dunks say. Those shoes are not gonna be that comfortable, but a New Balance 574 is under $100 and it's comfortable and it looks good with jeans, sweatpants. It's just a very, very versatile shoe that you can't really find in today's world. I feel like the New Balance 574, it's a classic. Like, there's nothing else to it. It's just simple, comfortable, and clean. One of my favorite things about the 574 is the wide toe box. I think that really adds that extra comfort to it. Not only are you getting the wide toe box, but you're also getting the end cap technology, which you do get on those higher end New Balance models. And it's very generous that it's in this shoe as well because it adds that extra stability that I think adds to why it is such a comfortable shoe. I think, I truly think that anybody can find a pair of 574s that they like. I like my New Balances kind of plain and, and gray, but they also make a ton of colors in the 574. So I have two pairs of 574s. I have a pair of grays that I showed earlier. I have a pair of these green and red ones that I really like, which is just like a fun way. There's so many colors that you can do on the 574. And honestly, like, one of the reasons why I don't have a 990 V1 is because it looks so similar to the 574. I think the 574 is a very high quality shoe that, that you can get on a budget. So if anybody is out there that is looking for a pair of New Balances or wants to, or is thinking about getting a pair of New Balance, I think the best shoe you can buy is a 574. Test it out, see if you like them, and then work your way up the totem pole to the 990s and all those higher end models if you like. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you next time.